Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Small wrists rejoice. Today, releasing the uh, Islander Manhasset. Named after a little town on Long Island in Nassau County. Uh, the Miracle Mile is there, Americana Mall. Uh, a lot of high-end shopping and stuff. 36 millimeter watch, 43 millimeters lock tip to lock tip, just 12 millimeters thick, extremely affordable, four colors to pick from. There's so much, it got so much going for a week. These get the colors of the dials. They really look amazing. I'm very satisfied with the way these turned out. Uh, it fills another niche or another genre, I guess, in the Islander lineup. More models obviously are coming in the future, uh, but this will kind of help me, you know, kind of fill in the smaller watch detail, you know, under the 38. Speaking of what I'm wearing, so on one wrist, it's the uh, Robin's Egg Blue Islander ISL 85 coming back into stock. It should be before the end of the year. I have a whole bunch of them this time on orders. So hopefully they last a little bit longer than they usually do. And on the other wrist is my Seiko, what's this, uh, 6139. Uh, the Pogue was the golden dial. This is the blue dial with the Pepsi. This is a mid 70s watch, uh, single, um, single crown. Kind of you push it in to change the day and the date. It's really cool. Nice chronograph, uh, mechanical. There's so much about it that is so so nice and vintagey. Uh, anyway, that's it. Let's um let's see the new Manhasset. Here we go. The Islander Manhasset, not Manhattan. Manhattan is an island off the coast of Long Island. In case you weren't aware, um, this is the Manhasset. Comes in four colors. You've got kind of like a um, an off-white creamy color. I don't know what you want to call it, alabaster. I think I call it cream officially in the uh, website description. We've got a rose gold dial. We've got uh, my favorite, ice blue, sunburst ice blue. Okay, and lastly, plain old black. Not sunburst, just a matte black to kind of, uh, you know, gotta always have a plain black watch. So, um, you know, for a, a little bit of a change, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the twisty turny on this guy. So they're all the same case and stuff, uh, just differing in the hands, the bracelets, and the dials. Uh, so the Islander Manhasset, they're all 285, 285 bucks, no matter which one you select. They all run on an NH36 movement. Hand winds, hacks, 40 hours of power reserve. You might say, Mark, there's no day or date display, and that's correct. I wasn't able to get the NH38 like I wanted to, just due to time constraints and stuff. So when you pull it out to the first click, there's a ghost position, but there's no ghost click. I, I have them remove, I have the factory remove all the day and date mechanics. I don't know. Is it necessary? Probably not, but at least you know there's no stupid day or day wheel under the dial <laughs> rotating and clicking into position. Two clicks out will change the time. Hacks, seconds hand, stops. Push it in. Wind it for about a 40 hour power reserve. The crown is nice and oversized. Easy to grab. Easy to wind. Screw down crown. So you turn it till it seats snugly, 100 meters of water resistance, logoed crown, yeah, logoed crown, in case you did not see that before. It is a sapphire exhibition case back. Yes, it is sapphire, so not mineral crystal on the back. Again, going a little extra step to give you sapphire on the case back, and around the case back, you have the etchings of Islander, automatic, uh, sapphire, 100 meters, etc. Flat sapphire crystal. AR on the underside. It's very flat. So let's go 36 millimeters in diameter. 12 thick. So I used a fairly thin case back, as thin as I could get it. Now if I used a solid embossed case back, it would have been thicker. Uh, so a fairly thin case back. Uh, 12, so 12 millimeters thick, which I thought was very good for an NH movement. Relatively thin, if you will. Ready for the lug tip to lug tip. 43 millimeters. I'll bring it up a bit. And you will notice that I am using negative or female end links, however you want to say it. I know I said I did a video where I released the end links and I called them. What did I call them? I called them negative end links and everybody got bent up and bent in arms or out of arms or all bent out of shape, whatever it is. 
because they thought I was being PC, but I don't know, I've always just referred to them as positives, negatives, males, females, all, all the same. But you guys know what I mean. So it articulates at the watch head so that it wears very, very comfortably. So the bracelet on this guy is your standard brushed three link bracelet. Let's see if I can peel back some stickery. I probably should have done it before I glovified myself. It's a new verb. There we go. So brushed, polished on the sides. Uh, it is sized with screws as usual as most Islander bracelets are. Three position micro adjust clasp with flip lock. Milled scissor clasp. Ta-da! The bracelet is uh, 20 millimeters. It is solid end link with those solid screwed links. It does taper down to 16 at the clasp. So wears very, very comfortably. Oh, 125 grams is your total weight. And um, I think that's all the interesting stuff. Let's come up on that dial a little bit closer. I've seen some people grumble that, um, and I, I don't mean grumble in a bad way, that, hey, you used to get a lot closer on the dial. As I've said many times, I'm still playing around with lenses and stuff. Um, I'm back to my 35 millimeter macro lens now, so I can get a lot closer. Look at that, this thing really gets close. Ironically, I just got an email from B&H right before I sat down to film this that, I don't know why I'm saying this, uh, the 100 meter Canon RF for this, for this camera just went on sale from 1,500 bucks to 1,000 bucks. I just think a 100 millimeter lens might be overkill for what I'm doing. But I did get excited when I read it, so now I kind of know what it's like to be a watch nut or a camera nut. The dial, very simple, sticks and numbers. So your numbers are three, six, nine, and the triangle at 12. Beautiful hands, vintage style hands. You guys can tell um, the look I was going for in this watch. Nice polished bezel, good angles on it. Uh, looks really nice. Again, go anywhere, do anything. Uh, I, I think I think this might be it. Uh, really good. Uh, the color I was going for here was, I don't want to go white. Um, I want to go a little bit, yeah, I don't want to go, yeah, like Sarbo 35-ish, but um, I definitely got a little bit different than that guy. So, um, I don't know the item numbers. ISL 145 through 148, I believe is what they are. Guys, I just numbered ISL 202. So we are cruising in the um, in the production category. Let's go. So we did white. So let's just let's just do basic black. I'm not gonna spend too long on on the rest of them. Uh, I'm tilting it to the side just so you, you get a little more of the. Um, there's a white card next to me, so you can kind of see a little bit more of the detail of the dial and the indices. Those nice baton markers. Uh, you've got. Um, on uh, two of them, the loom is BGW9, and on the other two, the loom is C3. It escapes me which is which at the moment, but when I do the loom shot, I will, um, I'll will i let you know. Uh, but this is on the same bracelet as the other one, still with the negative end links, and the three link brushed bracelet. Um, the other two you're gonna see in a moment are on a combination brushed and polished five link bracelet. So here's the rose gold dial. This is on a brushed and polished bracelet. You can see, um, again, I should have de-stickerified. There we go. Combination brushed and polished, and again, with the female negative end links. Holes for easy uh, strap changes if you feel so inclined. But look at that. Bends very comfortably around the wrist. Beautiful dial color. Um, oh, I should, I should definitely mention all these were um, designed by Ryan, uh, I think smash out of the park obviously on all of them um excuse me i'm digging the rose gold dial we actually were both when we when we were figuring out quantities to build we built the least of this one but now that it's in the flesh we're like hmm, this might be the this might be the sleeper hit uh, this is really really good looking with the blue accent on the logo and the islander name and then at the bottom for automatic and 100 really sharp looking. Ta-da. Okay, and then the last one I'm going to show you, my fave, Orit. Uh, ice blue, obviously modeled after the Rolex platinum blue color. Uh, it's a, a sunburst blue, and it is done just so wonderfully. Um, silver hands and markers, all of them have the same hands. Again, they're all the same color hands, except for that rose gold guy's got the rose gold hands. Uh, but 
man, this is, this thing, thing, this thing, it is a thing. This thing is a swell looker. And look at it take the light. It looks beautiful, really, really beautiful. I'll, uh, so on the 35 millimeter macro, the focus is a lot slower, so that bothers me. The 50 millimeter was a quicker focus, um, but you actually heard it. I actually heard it when I edited the videos. I don't know if you guys did. It was a couple of videos ago, maybe the Spinnaker one. But man, that that just looks awesome. So they're applied. So you got some depth there. Looks great. Um, so let's see, I think that's going to be it. Let's do. Um, I guess we'll do the the wrist, uh, the loom, and the ending. So here you go on my six and three quarter inch wrist, obviously at 43 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip, there's gonna be absolutely no problem fitting my wrist. There I am on the bracelet. I'm gonna say you're gonna go up to seven and a half, seven and three quarters. Um, as usual, if you need links, we are only a phone call away. I don't wanna advertise for Champion, unless Champion is requiring a sponsor. I do not think I would be their sponsor though. Well, I, don't, I mean, I don't think they're gonna call me. But if you want to, you can. Uh, looks really nice. And just for comparison's sake, I guess while I'm here, this is what the 38 looks like on my, on my other wrist. So just so you can kind of get a feel for both of them. You know, it's two millimeters. But like I said, even though it is 36, I think it wears, I think it wears rather well. If anything, it almost looks larger than the one on my right wrist. Kind of crazy how that plays out. But just so much about it is so nice. Look at that blue, huh? I mean, that blue. That blue's nice too. Yeah, I, I know, but that just looks so sweet. So let's get into the loom. Uh, so the two with the multi-link polish and brush bracelets are BGW9, and the other two with the uh, three-link brushed are done in C3, which glows. So glow green, glow blue. And there you go. Clearly easy to read the time, whether you are in the C3 fan club or the BGW9 fan club. BGW9, just much cooler, you know, like I said, you know, cooler looking. Um, not necessarily like, wow, that's really cool, but just much more pleasing to look at in my opinion. Um, but they're both very easy to tell the time on. And I think that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Right, come in guys, don't be shy. Showing you the new Islander Manhasset. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, concerns, queries, anything else, you can put it down below. And I will be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.